What's up guys and welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to set up the KDX desktop wallet. So to start, you're going to want to head over to the caspa.org website. And then once you're on this website, you're going to want to go to resources right here. And then it's going to give you to a page that looks just like this. You're going to have three different wallets here. We're going to be first going over the desktop wallet in today's video. I'm then going to make a video on the web and mobile wallet. And then I'm going to be making a video on the beta version of the Caspian wallet on the iPhone. But first, let's start with the desktop wallet on KDX. So you're going to want to click the link right here. And then it's going to take you to the KDX.app website. So once you're here, you're going to want to click download right here on this right hand side. And then once that downloads, you're simply just going to want to click this at the bottom here. Once it opens up, you're going to want to head over and click OK here on English. It's going to ask you to select the folder name and all that. You're just going to want to click create desktop shortcut. Sure. And then we're going to hit install. And then it's going to install all the files for the KDX wallet. Once it finishes downloading, you should have the application and we're going to hit finish and it's going to launch KDX right after that. It may take a few moments to load things up because this is the first time I'm loading this up on here. Okay. Once this loads up, you're going to see that it's going to say status connecting. And this is actually going to take some time. Now, when I first got this wallet to test it out on my own without uh, recording the tutorial, it took a couple hours actually to fully get all this running. Once it gets running, though, you're going to be able to use the wallet. While we're waiting, though, you can click the wallet section right here. And then you can go to unlock the wallet with your password. If there's a wallet on here, then you can actually put the password in. But we're going to just set up a new wallet so you guys can understand how this works. So the new wallet is going to be first, you're going to have to create the password. Okay, once you have your password in, this pop, this uh, screen is going to pop up and it's going to say recovery seed. Guys, this, I'm going to stress this to you. I know I'm showing this on screen. I'm obviously not going to use this wallet. This is all for just tutorial purposes, but this, tw these 12 words are super important. These are your keys to your wallet. Please never ever do what I'm doing right now is make a video and put them on the screen. I'm doing this just for the video, but guys, keep this safe. Keep these 12 words saved, write them down on a piece of paper. Never take a picture of them, never upload them to your notes, never upload them to the cloud, never upload them to Google Cloud. Keep these words offline on a piece of paper and do not put them online. If you put them online and anyone gets access to them, they have access to all your coins. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that you remember all of these words, write them down. And then once you uh, got them all down. I'm just going to take a screenshot of them. I'm doing everything you're not supposed to do, but this is just for So once you do that, it's going to ask you like, what is your eighth word? We're going to see there it's neither. And then it's going to say, what is the fifth word? Let's take a look here. It's client. And we're going to take a look one more time. Uh, what is the second word? And the second word is truth. So let's go back over here. Great success. Okay. Remember anyone with this 12 word phrase can access your wallet, your funds, keep it safe, please guys listen to that. Okay. So once your wallet loads up, this is going to be your receive address. You're not going to have any, it's a, if it's offline, that's okay. It's going to start off offline because this is still connecting. This could take a while to actually connect. So just be patient with it. Um, I recommend that you keep your computer on and just let it run in the background while you're waiting for all this to connect. 
and I'm gonna be back once this does connect to show you the next steps. All right, we're back and everything is loaded up now. It should look like this when everything's loaded up. The DAG sync, sometimes this needs to be at 100%. I'm not exactly sure how it works all the time. I know when I first started, it needed to be 100% for this to work. So if it's not 100% and your wallet is not showing up anything, then that could be it. You just need to keep waiting. Right now, this is at 29% and it looks like it's working pretty well. So here you go. I have the wall, I have an address here and now I can send and receive. So what I'm going to do guys is if you got this far to the video, you guys are going to get a free 100 Caspa. Go ahead and look back <clears throat> in the beginning of this video and get that C phrase. First one to claim it gets it obviously. So I'm going to be sending hundred Caspa here. That's going to be for you guys. So yeah, that's basically the tutorial of this wallet. It's very simple. Does not take that long. It just, the only thing that takes long about it is waiting for it to be to set up and, and you just got to keep it open for a while. Once it sets up, you should have your wallet address pop up and then you can start sending and receiving Caspa to this wallet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new around here and I'll see you guys in the next one.